Hello everybody, a very good afternoon. Welcome back. We are back live with Carnation Craft TV. And um, if, in case you've not been in during the day or not been able to watch us during the day, um, today has been a really, really important and a very, very fun day for all of us at Carnation Crafts. I'm Dave Bradford, by the way. Great to have your company. Um, yeah, it's the first day of us having our very own TV station being broadcast, of course, on YouTube, also on Facebook, and of course, at carnationcrafts.co.uk. And can I just say on behalf of all of us, the management, everybody at Carnation, a massive thank you for all of your comments because they've all been, without exception, positive, um, heartwarming, uh, exciting. So yeah, thank you from us to you. Uh, it's going to be your channel. It is your channel and uh, we want you to be a big part of it and we're going to be with you for a long, long time to come, bringing you regular shows. And uh, what this is all about, you might think to yourself, oh, does that mean that Carnation aren't going to be on other channels now? No, 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 no. We're still going to be where we normally would be. But the bosses and the powers that be and, and Hannah and Carla, everyone, wanted to maybe give you a channel that was yours. So we could put on it what we wanted to and we could also ask you what you wanted to see. But more demo time and more, uh, more exclusive offers, basically. And that's what we're doing today. We're bringing you the latest collection, which is Spring Forward, um, to at least two weeks before anyone else is going to get the chance to order it and have it. And bearing in mind we're not that far away from spring now. I think the clocks go back on Mother's Day on the 27th, and then Easter's not that far away. We're giving you the chance to get this fantastic collection today, two weeks ahead of, uh, of, of everybody else, at a brilliant price, just under £110. And we've also got the payment options of ClearPay and also PayPal Pay in 3 available as well. The normal price of this should be £141.93. Not today. If you'd like it, it's 220314. That's the item number. Uh, and £109.99 is your price. And of course, if you want to get in touch with the show, we would love to hear from you. We've been getting lovely messages all day long. The email address is studio at carnationcrafts.co.uk. Um, you can message us through uh, YouTube as well, which lots of you have been doing. Um, one that came in just after the end of the last show is Linda Guy says, fantastic show, well done. We just had loads of those all throughout the day, so a massive thank you for watching. We're with you for 90 minutes now, through until half past six. If you're watching in the USA, by the way, you too can also get in touch. Tell us where you are in the USA, and you're more than welcome to purchase as well. Uh, your price, of course, will be in dollars. And of course, if you are ordering, um, your postage is slightly different to the UK. If you're buying the whole collection in the UK and spending over 50 pounds, you have free postage. If you're watching in the USA, it's 495 for the normal postage. And if you're maybe putting in a pack of the perfect papers, for example, at the same time, your postage will be just 14 pounds and 95 pence. So, well, Welcome if you're in the USA, welcome wherever you're watching us, actually at uh, Carnation Crafts TV. Okay, first things first, uh, let me introduce you to lovely Hannah. What a day we've had today, Oh, eh? it's been absolutely wonderful. It's been so lovely reading all your messages of support. A huge thank you from myself and the rest of the team as well. And it's just an absolute honour to be able to bring you such a beautiful collection mm, totally. in the start anyway, but also to bring you that inspiration when it comes to the demos too. Now, I've been presenting Carnation Craft shows for a long, long time, for a number of years. And when the phone call came a couple of weeks ago from um, Mark and Nick, who, who run Carnation, and they said, Dave, we know you love the brand, would you like to be part of our new TV? And I said, yes, please. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is day one, but it's the start of a great, great journey that I'm sure you're going to love the more you see in the future. Okay, let's have a little look then at the boards. This is something we traditionally do at Carnation so you can see exactly what you're getting die-wise. And don't forget the vignettes, in other words, the artwork for these dies, you can actually print off right now from the website uh, carnationcrafts.co.uk. Just go to the download section, then to free downloads, and you'll see the vignettes there. You can print those off free of charge now. Okay, so the Spring Forward collection contains just a whole host of beautiful, beautiful images, starting with your daffodil. This is part of the Spring in Bloom die set, and it just is the epitome of spring, isn't yeah. it? The first thing you think of when it comes to spring flowers is that daffodil. It looks like it's dancing with happiness. Yeah, it really does. It really, really does. Now, the artwork you're seeing on the boards as we run through them is available as a free download from our website, carnationcrafts.com. Uk. It's called a, a vignette, it's just the name we have yeah. for the artwork. It's downloadable on your PCs, on your Macs, print it out on your pro printing paper, lay your dies over the top and then cut and you can be crafting with this gorgeous, gorgeous artwork as well. well Carla was doing that just earlier downstairs. Yes. She actually was, yeah. Yeah. yeah, she actually was. Ready for the show. Exactly. Next up, our next floral within... Oops. 
That was my fault, I'm sorry. sorry. In this collection is the Snowdrop. So what we've got here is your little corner placement. It adds in a different dimension. It adds in different height levels for the rest of your bouquets as well. And what that means is you can start building in Perfectus. Now what's really key to note with every single one of the florals within the Spring in Bloom die set, you have what we call a matten layer die, so a surrounding die that you can cut a background for, and you've also got your decoupage layers included as well. So that gives you height and dimension on areas within the die cut which would be uh, more forward facing than the backgrounds of the die. Next up, we have got the bluebell. So many comments about the bluebells. Yeah. Everyone's loving these. These are gorgeous. And you know, I think it comes down to the exquisite artistry, the real lifelike quality the artwork yep. brings to these, but also just the delicacy as well. The colours as we move forward through the board, you see you've got the golden tones from the daffodils, you've got the neutral tones from the snowdrops and the beautiful blues and purples. What this is bringing you is the colour palette for this collection. Our final floral in its own right is our freesia. And that kind of brings together all of these different tones we've just been discussing. You've got your golden hues to the center and then this beautiful array of lilac design around them. Again, you've got those mats and layers. Again, you've got those decoupage as well. Snippability is endless Absolutely. with the carnation dyes as well. And just look how beautiful they are. Yeah, the possibilities are absolutely endless, whether you're putting them in the watering can or maybe mixing some previous carnation collections that you've got, because everything kind of works together beautifully well. And just look at this little character, you'll see him in more detail <laughs> in a second. That's included in your bundle as well. Next up, we have got the leaves. So if you're looking to add bouquets to your designs, you need those added extras of textures, of elements, of tuck-ins to really expand the backgrounds of the bouquet. So we've got the beautiful leaves here, cut those a couple of times, snip into them as well. You've got the lovely new shoots, which is gonna uh, break up a white background behind your leaves. And of course, your pussy willow here, great for that added little pop of texture. Again, snippability endless. What we've also got on this board is this lovely long lace panel, which is just divine at sort of breaking up a neutral background and that as well. could also be like a wrap couldn't it around yeah. something cylindrical or even around a square box you could a use it as a decorative box, wrap um sort of your electric candles yeah. that sort of thing and also if you're doing things like gatefold cards you could use this as one of the sort of belly bands on the card itself as well Perfect. Our next die set, you've seen a sneak peek in one of those finished samples. This is the Filled With Joy. I love this as a concept for not only a topper, but also a card blank in its own right. It's a large enough die with that matte layer to create your card bases from. Now we've already established that if you just snip off the top of that spout of the watering can, um, that will basically make it into possibly a coffee pot. Mm -hmm. If you then snip off the spout completely and chop the little bit off at the top, you've then got yourself a tankard. Yeah, again, it's so incredible, isn't it? And I, it's something I really, really love about when we start seeing you guys at home beginning to craft yep. with the die sets as well and uploading your images to our Facebook group, Carnation Crafters, you come up with new ideas and new ways of using these as well. Included within the Filled With Joy die set is your sentiment for this collection. You fill me with joy and what a heartfelt sentiment for any occasion just because you want to send someone a smile, the ideal way of doing so. Next up, Happy Easter. So at its heart, this collection is all about our Easters. This is a lovely large size sentiment which is gonna take the forefront of your card. It also makes a really nice celebration of a sentiment on the front of the card. You've got this gorgeous, gorgeous font surrounded by your eggs and your flowers and things like that. If you want to, you can absolutely snip that away as you can see here. Yeah. And just Perfect. have the plain font, which is very, very pretty as well. Perhaps use those eggs in a That's different... That's my favourite card of the day. <laughs> He's so cute. With a little chick in the egg, with his little legs poking out the bottom. He's just so playful, <laughs> it just makes me smile. And of course, within this set, you do get that little cross as well. So I think that's a really nice nod to what Easter is all about. Absolutely. Next up, we have got that little chick. Here You've he just is. seen him on that card. He is gorgeous. Again, it's the quality of the artwork. It's that sense of soulfulness that the eyes bring you. He really is. It just makes me giggle. It just makes me laugh. And yeah, I mean, we're talking about spring cards here, but this would be perfect for new babies, yeah, new arrivals yeah. as well. Welcome to the world. Exactly. You get your little egg as well. And as you can see from the DT samples, they've cut into this, they've made yeah. it their own and they've added that humour in. I'll show you some of those in a minute in actual fact, because they're all fantastic. Yeah, they're really, really clever. 
We also have our Easter bunny, and I think she's really, really elegant. I love the long line ears on this. I love the sort of nod to the rest of the collection with color hues, the lovely bow as well. And as we've mentioned, Dave, when it comes to Carnation Crafts artwork, the vignettes, we do something that's called a mirrored vignette, yeah, which is just incredible. You're the first people to ever do it, as mm -hmm. far as I'm aware, and it was a bit of a happy accident, wasn't it? Yeah, Nick, um, our creative director, was trying to engineer a way of creating designs where you can have one facing one direction and then the other facing the other direction it gives you much more usability with your die sets and he happened upon this this wonderful solution which is your mirrored vignettes and we will go over that at some point during the show as well but it means you can have a left and a right just cutting from that same die as Perfect. well next up this is the placed in nature these are your grounding devices and they are so essential when it comes to story building on your card designs your tree trunks here give yourself a little world into which your creatures can start living you can have your little bunny sitting on the tree stumps you have your little chick mm -hmm. sitting on the tree stump too the moss you can have or the lichen you can have sort of bedecking those trunks as well and you could also have them almost like steps one two three four leading up to a character or yeah. an object or something yeah it's a really interesting way when we talk about grounding is giving you that that sense of detail at the the lower edge here building your rest of your design, design and creating perspective can i just let you know as well i've just heard that uh, since we launched this earlier today well we actually launched on the website last night since we've done our live shows today and this is the last one of the day by the way approaching 50 percent of the entire available stock of this collection has gone to say it's been a success already is an understatement spring forward it's just what everybody wants at the moment i think a little bit of brightness something to look forward to mm. the brighter lighter days sunnier days as well that's why i think everyone's loving this so nearly 50 percent of the stock has gone and it is going to be uh, uh yeah there's going to be lots more coming up to look out for over the days and weeks to come so yeah but this particular collection going quickly okay the final die set within the spring ford collection we call it spring strings these are your borders these are your little embellishments what these are going to do is add in that little boundary those little added extras to your designs the first up you've got this lovely little twisted rope with your bow to the center next up we've got this lovely long line of leaves and our final one adds in this sense of detailing when it comes to your florals everything is going to tie in with what you've seen from the rest of the collection but there are more ways of using this perhaps you want to cut these a couple of times and look how you can use them as frames as well just by the nature of them it means you can take them shape them around and create wreaths from the two now i've just been told hot off the press tomorrow at five o'clock this collection will be back on again so I think that's an additional show mm -hmm. that wasn't necessarily planned. So if you're watching us, however you're watching us right now, uh, maybe you've got to go out and you can't watch the whole show. Five o'clock tomorrow, there'll be another chance to see this uh, with, I believe, yourself? Carla. Oh, with Carla tomorrow, okay. <laughs> um, I've got to read out a, a few emails as well. Um, this is coming from Betty Watts. Hello, Betty. She says, or Mary Watts, I beg your pardon, using Betty's email. Uh, Hi, Hannah, Carla and Dave. I've so enjoyed the shows, the new shows on your very own TV programme. Wishing you every success. Looking forward to many more shows like this this so entertaining and loving the demos that are so explicit best I've ever seen oh that's thank lovely you. thank you could I ask Hannah where she got her tweezers from please <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, I believe they are available on most uh, retail sites. What you need to search for is uh, reverse tweezers. And I believe I got mine from Crate and Craft, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. But check on the website. Check on all the big retailers online. You should be able to find them. Reverse tweezers is what you need. Um, and Shirley Taylor is in the Wirral. Hello, Shirley. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hi, Hannah, Carla, Dave, and the background crew. Taz. Hi. <laughs> uh, ordered the beautiful collection last night and have been busy printing between the great shows. Dave, lovely to have you back. Thank you ever so much. Uh, thank you so much for all the inspiration and the show format is great. Oh, Brilliant. that's okay. Um, oh, even more coming in now. Another comment. This is from Jeanette Aldridge. Wonderful show. Can't tell you how happy I am that the picture quality is so very good. Thanks and best wishes to you all. That's Janet Aldridge. Uh, one more quickly. Debbie Gallon in Verwood, down where I live. I'm in Bournemouth. Um, Debbie says, congratulations to you all. Really great shows. Love the graphics. Love the collection as normal. Uh, sadly, no money to buy at the moment, but keep up the good work. Well, hopefully that will change soon and we'll have something for you when you can uh, stomp up the readies. That's it. Mm. Okay, and remember, if you do want to split the payments, you can use ClearPay and you can use PayPal Pay in 3 if you don't want to pay in full. That's entirely up to you. And also, just to let you know, I sometimes forget to say this, all of the collection is available in the individual parts. So if you just want maybe the uh, Celebration Easter die, that's available separately. 
if you just want maybe um, this one here with all the flowers, the beautiful daffodils and, and so on, then you can buy them individually on the website, you'll find them. And don't forget the perfect papers, because remember with the vignettes and all the coloured artwork that you get with the vignettes, these are the papers, or cardstock really, not papers, these are the cardstocks uh, that are going to complement the artwork beautifully. No clashing colours. 48 A4 sheets, 300 GSM, six colours and eight of each. They're available as well if you want them. And we'll have more on that wreath that you're seeing on the screen in a few minutes time too. Demo time. Oh, exciting. Okay, so for this demonstration, what I'm going to be working with is the banded wreath. I was really keen to show you a different kind of card style uh, for this evening and something a little bit more in depth. So we're going to be making an easel card with this design. Great. So I'm just going to grab this one from next to me. And as you can see here, we've got several mats and layers and things like that within the banded wreath. What we're going to do is we're going to take the outermost die. We're well, loving this one as well. 40% of this is gone since the launch yesterday. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this is, this is a really gorgeous die. I'm going to be using it specifically for this kind of Easter theme, but this would work perfectly for your Christmas, for autumnal, for summer, all through the seasons. It's going to work amazingly well. We're taking the outermost die, the largest die within the pack, and we're going to cut that three times. We're going to cut that from 350 GSM Perfect Smooth cardstock. Reason being is you want a nice heavyweight cardstock yep. that's going to take the weight of the layers we put on top. The first layer is going to be our base for our card. And we want to decorate that with a nice uh, colour because this is also going to be seen from the outside of the card. Mm -hmm. So we've chosen this wonderful purple finish. It's the lighter tone of the purple from the uh, Perfect Papers. And I'm just lining that up like so. So within the pack you get your mats and layers as well, so your little framing devices. This I'm sticking in place using my finger lift tape and there we go, just adding those in. That creates our base layer. The next layer, remember we're cutting three from mm -hmm. 350 GSM Perfect Smooth, we're going to line up, okay? This is going to create the mechanism that, that then aids the pop-up effect of the easel. Okay. We've scored about half an inch, quarter of an inch down from the top. We're going to fold that back on itself. If you've got anything like a bone folder at home just to neaten up, sharpen up those folds, things like that, I would recommend using that. And using red liner tape, a nice strong adhesive tape, we're going to stick that layer in place. We're just burnishing that down to me, so just making sure that's even all the way around. Along the bottom, you see we've scored halfway down the circle, and then we've got red liner tape that is only on the bottom portion of the card, okay? We don't stick anything on top, it's just this bottom bit here. We then take our third circle, again, just lining that up. And what I'm doing is I'm just looking for when that kind of slots into place. There's like a little, um, smaller little bump next to your larger, larger bumps, if you like, and you just line those all up. That looks about right. Doesn't yeah, it? that yeah. looks good. Spot on. And then holding that in place, we're going to remove just one of the carrier sheets from the red line tape. And to do that, I'm taking my pokey tool, just slipping it between the layers of the carrier sheet and the sticky, and then burnishing that down. Rather than trying to take all the tape off and then being all a bit fingers and thumbs mm -hmm. trying to get it in position. Just do one at a time. One at a time yeah. is so much easier. Then we can move it, okay? and remove the rest it's of the carriage sheets. like this that you wouldn't know otherwise. Yeah, yeah. And it is, it is nice to be able to share these as well and be able to give a little bit more confidence in going forward with your card making. We're then going to burnish down, so we're just flattening it down and making sure everything is stuck in place. So when we open the card, you get this wonderful pop-up action yeah, from it. the easel. It's kind of more of a ceremony when it comes to the card design. For the outside of the card, we're going to repeat the process that we have on the inside, so everything is matching. So we're using that lilac cardstock from the Perfect Papers as well. I'm going to stick that in place using our finger lift tape. Same thing again, just lining up, just changing the direction, changing the orientation until it slots into place, and then just sticking like so. Now that's going to be a really thick solid card isn't it? Yeah really yeah. nice sort of feel to it and it's, it's really important to use the right kind of card weights as well because it mm -hmm. just gives it a little bit more prominence on your card. Whenever you're designing something like an easel card always check at each stage you are working with the opening flat and even okay so you see I'm just lifting that up checking the orientation going right this is the way I'm using it. Mm -hmm. This is when the transformation happens. This is where the design element really comes into play. 
We're going to take the banded wreath vignettes, the coloured artwork for that. Again, as I said, 40% of that has gone already. We haven't featured it that much in natural fact throughout the day, so everyone's loving this. And you've even got the vignette artwork available, which you can print off right now. Lots of you have been printing off all the artwork today. But you know, not many companies give you artwork for a wreath like this. No, and I think it's really, really special. If you think to other florals we have from other collections, it's going to work in tandem with those. I was just sitting here thinking, what other cards would you use these for? And perhaps you're making more of a, like a rustic wedding yeah. invitation, something like that. It'll be a really nice framing device for something like that. But to be honest, well. it depends on what you use as decoration. If yeah. it's something like kind of berries, it will look Christmassy. Yeah. You know, it could be a wreath for any season in the year. It doesn't have to be just for Christmas or spring. <laughs> it really does. And look how instantly, when you add in that dimension of the artwork, yeah. it just draws the attention specifically to this design. On to here, we're going to start designing our look of our card. So across the centre, we're going to have that happy Easter. That's going to sit proud and foremost in the foreground. We're also going to have one of our beautiful golden goose eggs just in the background because, of course, we would love a little chick to feature too. So we're just going to find placement for him, make sure everything's sitting nicely and not covering the words up like so. We've then cut a whole host of the florals from the spring in bloom <laughs> design. You've got leaves, you've got textures, you've got detailings here, which we can go in and snip into. And there's no restrictions on how many times no. you print the vignettes off? Absolutely. Wow. Just all we'd say is do consider printing them on your pro printing paper, on your high quality print settings to get the best yeah. out of the look. We're also going to add in just some of the details here. So I'm taking that egg. Once I'm happy with placement, a little bit of pin flare glue gel to the back, and that's gonna sit off to one side. Happy Easter then goes on next. Basically what we're gonna do with the flowers is really just frame the design of the logo and of the sentiment here. Happy Easter across the center, just raising that up a little bit. Again, stuck with Pimflare, just to give you a little bit of height, a little bit of dimension, and then our little chick's gonna feature off to one side. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of shaping to that nice round tummy. I've got some good news as well for everyone that purchased something today from us, from our shows. We did a show this morning at 10 o'clock. We then did a show at one o'clock, and this is our last live show of the day now through until half past six. All of the orders that have been placed already today have not only been picked, they've been packed and they've been sent. So some of you might even get what you've ordered today, tomorrow, if not the day after. That's pretty good going, isn't it? That's yeah. fantastic, yeah. isn't it? On fire. Okay, so we're gonna then place our florals Carla, do you have any scissors to hand? <laughs> Excuse me, Joel. <laughs> you have to wait. Okay, well, we'll carry on with the leaves They're for coming. now, so that's fine. So we're going to go in and place. So we're just going to snip off little areas of leaves. It doesn't matter too much that we're not snipping these neatly. These are going to be hidden into the overall design. But again, it's areas like this whereby you can use the vignette in the one direction. Because we want to carry on that line around the edge, we flip that over. Brilliant. You've got the mirrored on the reverse. But look at the colouring, they look so real. They really, really do, don't they? It's just so, so beautiful and it draws the eye around. We can also have just the decoupage layers placed like so, giving you that ability to build in your wreath designs like so as well. Here we can add in a little bit of shaping. Special delivery. Thank you very much, Miss Carla Bagshaw. Sure. And go in with even more floral design. So this is key when it comes to carnation. You are not set on what you have to use. Once you've printed out the vignettes, once you've cut them out using our dies, snip into them. It gives you so much more scope to build in detailing, to build in dimension, and to really tell the stories of your designs how you wish them to be. So we're going to snip away those little trails there. And we're going to start adding in the florals. So I might just swap those ones out, get my pin flare glue gel. Again, as I say, I've already shaped these little florals here. And just start building this wreath. Now you can use as many of the florals as you like. You could tuck in loads and loads and loads around the wreath design to really build the dimension and the look. And that's what's so precious when it comes to carnation is the ability to mm. do so. 
And no two cards you make need ever be the same. This is the thing, because you've got the components, you've got all the elements that you can play with, that like, uh, like uh, Hannah just said, you can actually kind of snip into them, make them bigger, make them smaller, whatever you want to do. But um, it gives you the ability to be able to build up that scene and tell that story, doesn't it? It really, really does. And of course, like you say, each one can be different. And you know what's lovely? Because the downloads, because the vignettes, because the artwork is available to download, you don't have that fear of what you might do when you're using a paper pack. Yeah. You're not limited to the design. Because normally the paper pack, oh, I've only got two sheets of that. Should I use it or yeah. shouldn't I use it? Yeah. With the vignettes, you can print them off 150 times if you want. Yeah, absolutely. If you want to, you can keep going in, snipping into them, changing them up, really making it your own. A few more little leaves just in the top corner. So what we're doing here, we've taken just elements of that vignette and these leaves and we're using that top corner to balance. So you've got more going on down here, you're using that top corner just to balance in the design. Another little leaf on the other side. So look how you've taken that long line of leaves so and now you're making a little sprig out yeah. of one side. It really is so transformative when it comes to the looks of your cards. And do you know what, the lovely thing about having our own TV channel now, Carnation Crafts TV, is the fact that these shows are gonna be remaining on YouTube, on Facebook, and on, of course, our website. So if there's something that you've missed, if you can't make maybe five o'clock tomorrow, you can always watch it back at a time that's convenient for you. And they'll be there for weeks and months to come. So, you know, you haven't got to make a destination time. This show, the show this afternoon at one o'clock, the show earlier on today at 10 o'clock, they'll all be there for you to view again and again and again, all with different demonstrations. All different demonstrations, and you can pause and rewind, yeah. which I think is fantastic. Yeah. To finish this demonstration, all we need to do, I'm going to snip this little bow from the spring strings, just rounding it off with the little scissors there. Again, lifting it, lifting it and giving it a little bit of shaping. Remember, we are using those mirrored vignettes, so there are no white bits showing. Everything then can have this wonderful placement and design. Little bow, excuse me, red liner tape. Just our look. Now he looks dressed to impress, doesn't so he? So sweet. So cute. To the inside, we just need a little stopper just to keep that opening. Let's go in with the center. So you get a couple of little nested dies that match in with your wreath design. These I have stuck on uh, foam pads just to raise them up and that's going to catch the front of your card like so. And to finish, let's just make sure we are coordinating the inside as we have with the outside of the card as well. So again, rounding those florals off adding in just perhaps a sprig, just perhaps a little element of the design. And this coordination, this sort of mirroring back to what you have on the outside of the card and transferring that on the inside too, gives you this sense of purpose. It gives you ultimately a look whereby the design all flows, the design all works together. Now we have been exceptionally busy today, especially on our website, which is the easiest way to place your order. I know a couple of you may have had a few little glitches and couldn't actually place your order at some point. It should be okay now if you go to carnationcrafts.co.uk, you should be fine to actually put this collection into your basket. Double two zero three one four, your item number. It's called the Spring Forward Collection. You save about £31, £32 off the price if you buy it today. £109.99 and this is not available anywhere else. It's exclusive for you to purchase ahead of everybody else if you're quick and put it into your basket and check out we'll get it to you in a matter of days if some in some cases maybe even tomorrow some people may see receive it tomorrow but look at that isn't that lovely happy easter with that little chick there it is now we've had a, an e another email from karen rushbook now if you want your emails read out please email sooner rather than later because i left my ipad on <laughs> by mistake and I've only got 12% of battery left so please if you could e email your questions in that would be great or just comments. Um, Karen Rushbrook in Dartford says good evening I've enjoyed watching all your shows today that's good to hear. Uh, can you please tell me the little easter eggs are they part of the vignettes? I think they are aren't they? These these little easter eggs that I've used on, yeah. on here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. part of the Easter sign, I think. Yeah, yeah. So uh, anywhere that you see something small, like this one has been cut away from the Happy Easter Easter celebration, or you do have the larger size one that come with the chickens. Yeah, some there. Yes, yeah. yeah. So yes, they are on the vignettes, no problem at all. Uh, I suppose another no novel idea would be, I've actually got a little egg here, these little mini ones that you can buy, the chocolate ones. You could actually um, find a way of incorporating those into the card as yeah, well. Yeah, you? absolutely. Why not? Or just enjoying them. 
Exactly. <laughs> While you're making your Easter cards. Yeah, exactly. Um, get your emails in studio at carnationcrafts.co.uk and we'll give you a little name check. Uh, we're on the air for another hour, but remember this show can be looked back on and repeated and watched by other people uh, for a long, long time. So if you've watched it, but maybe your friends have missed it or a member of the family is not available to watch it, it is going to be on YouTube, Facebook, and of course on Carnation Crafts website itself. Okay, now if this is all about this fantastic collection, uh, collection. We're springing forward. That's the nature of this particular collection today. You've got a bit of whimsy with the rabbit and of course that little chick. And of course you've got those beautiful florals. It's all about springtime. Carnation Crafts new TV launch features the elegant new collection, Spring Forward. This classical Easter collection is filled with dyes such as Easter Celebration, Filled with Joy, Easter Bunny, Spring Strings, Little Hatchling and Placed in Nature. And you can take this new die set home for an incredible £109.99. This collection is perfect for your cards, scrapbook pages, home decor and many other techniques. Carnation Crafts even have an open angel policy which allows you to make and sell all of your completed projects. Don't forget to download the free vignettes from our website, www.carnationcrafts.co.uk. Happy crafting with our new collection, Spring Forward. Okay, that's what the collection looks like, an amazing collection of dies. And remember, all the artwork is there for your enjoyment right now. You don't have to wait for it. Just go to uh, carnationcrafts.co.uk, go to the download section, then the free download section, that's when you'll find all the vignettes. Now let's give some name checks out to some of our design team. Pam Simpson, hello Pam, you've done this gorgeous, gorgeous card. Using of course that lovely beaded wreath as well with the Happy Easter done in gold. That's really, really gorgeous. Let's give you a few more ideas. Um, you can make them as rustic as you like, really. This is Janine Dawson who's done this one. Janine's obviously a very accomplished crafter and she does quite a few of the samples for Carnation Crafts. And she's actually got a few little um, resin dew drops in there as well, which is rather nice because we're getting still dew drops on quite a few of the leaves and petals in the mornings at the moment. Look at this. Very simple, but I think you'll agree, absolutely gorgeous. That egg, just cut with your scissors, the egg, so you've got like a jagged part to it. And then welcome to a new life, little one. Isn't that really lovely? Now this is really good too. This is also from Sue. Sue Darimple has done this one. And what she's done is she's actually got these beautiful flowers. The border that was that we showed you that could go around a circle. Um, that's actually coming out of the spout of the watering can. And the bluebells there are lovely. I mean, that to me is the ultimate symbol of spring. That beautiful, beautiful um, daffodil. And here again, more decoupage uh, images here. This is another one from Janine. Look, if you, if you just turn to the side, can you just see how much dimension how much depth you've got going on in there, really making them come to life. Again, you've probably got one, two, three, it's about four, four or five layers on that daffodil. And again, lots of little dew drops there, which are really effective. And we talked about the mirror vignettes, or Hannah did. Look at this from Sue. Um, there's the front and there's the back of the rabbit. So you've got a left and a right. Mm -hmm. So that could be a lovely engagement card or whatever it might be, or anniversary card. A couple more. This one's from Pam, Pam Simpson. DL cards, very popular, probably the most popular shape and style of card at the moment. But again, look at that dimension. Lots of 3D from their decoupage. And this is just so stylish and so simple. Yeah, I think it's just spot on. That's from Sue. Really lovely using that cross, of course. That could be a uh, sympathy card. It could be uh, an Easter card or a confirmation card, anything like that. So we're in the middle of our last show of the day today, remember. But you know what? It doesn't really matter about the time. It doesn't really matter about the clock or the watch on your wrist. Oh, I can't watch it because it's on at five. I can't watch it because it's on at 10. It doesn't matter. After it's been gone out, after it's been broadcast, it will be there on those platforms, on YouTube, on the website, and of course on Facebook for you to view whatever time you wish. And like Hannah quite rightly said, you can fast forward us, you can rewind mm -hmm. us, you can pause, see something again if you missed how it was done. That's what we're all about here at Carnation Crafts. And again, a massive thank you for all your positivity and your fantastic messages today. Obviously, we've um, done something right, which is lovely, <laughs> lovely to know, isn't yeah. it? Yes, absolutely. Because that was the plan all along, to get it right first time, and fingers crossed we have. Okay, another demo, Hannah. Shall we? Let's go with that. Okay, so this time around we're going to be using a, a larger size card base. We're working, I think this is on the 7 by 9 and we're going to be building up some layers using the watering can and the daffodils as well. Onto our card base, we're going to start by introducing our backing papers. These are our perfect papers, and we're going with a beautiful green from the perfect papers. Once again, you've seen me do it before. We've got our little tabs over the side to allow us to pull 
the carrier sheet of the finger lift tape away, positioning our mats and layers nice and easily and getting everything nice and straight. The next layer goes on, same sort of thing, those little tabs over the edge. When we talk about mats and layers, these are our framing devices and they are used to draw the eye into the center of the card. They give you a defined edge, they give you a space into which you can tell your story. So the greens there from the Perfect Papers in these lovely tonal colors. And then what we've also done for you with this collection available on our website is a whole host of backing papers. I forgot to mention those. Yeah, I had as They're well, actually. Yeah, yeah, they are free as well. What's lovely about the backing papers is they do feature artwork from things like the daffodils, things like the snowdrops. So it ties in with the designs. It also ties in with the colors as well. So every stage, Carnation are bringing you something that is gonna work in conjunction. Everything's gonna work together. So don't just print off your vignettes, treat yourself to some new backing papers too. So that's gonna build a lovely textured background. And quite often, if you're thinking about cards with a lot of open space it's nice to introduce a textured background because you've still got something an element of something filling that space in the design okay mm -hmm. this gives us our, our frame this gives us our base into which we're going to start building those colors look. look so classy don't they don't they really mm. look lovely Very. again more a masculine color palette as well on Maybe, this as well yeah. if you wanted that watering can from Filled With Joy is gonna feature as our main uh, element to the card. We're also using this little strip that comes with the watering can just to break up the metallic background and draw in the ideas from the handles. And then just popping that little nested part over, it just brings you more layers. What we can also do, as we discussed when we were going through the boards, oh, got a little bit of tangle with my flowers there, is start using that watering can as a vase okay and look how you can start having your beautiful florals your leaves your elements sort of emerging from this wonderful space i need to remove my snowdrops from my glue and then you can start adding in extra elements once you're happy with the layout we can go in and start committing it to that stick i'm going to trim down elements of these and just use them together as well so whereby we've got sort of the little uh, bud and things like that, we're gonna just trim that away. It doesn't matter too much with the edges on this card, this part of the die cut, because these are gonna be hidden inside the watering can. But this is just gonna give us more craftability with that flower. Shaping the watering can, giving that a little bit of lift and dimension. And we're gonna use our pin flare glue gel to go in like so. Nice generous amount. Yeah, nice generous yeah. amount. We want to really lift the height on that. Placing that towards the bottom of our design and then layering up these elements on as well. Now I just want a little flat layer between these. So I'm using my everyday glue and my glue applicator. I'm not going to go too mad with the glue. It's just going to areas just hold that to the front of the design. And having that glue applicator means I can get into those smaller areas without the worry that the glue is then going to splodge out over the side. And then our final, almost like a little shield mm. piece, this one. And that could have someone's name on it or a sentiment Completely. on it. It could be, as I said before, if you make it into a tankard, it mm -hmm. could be for a, uh, maybe a, a husband's birthday or an uncle's birthday or something. Yeah, absolutely. Again, just layering that on top. So you're already building that dimension into your design. When it comes to the florals, as you say, we snip this one away, but you've already got the decoupage layers layered up. Let's just give those petals a little bit of a twist as well and pin flare just to the center of the back. Now pin flare is great because it gives you a little bit of wiggle room. It gives you the ability to go in, change things up, add things, take things away. It just allows you to change things up should you wish. Now I know we're majoring on cards and that's what probably most of us are thinking about, but I'm also thinking about home decor. Mm. Thinking about, um, you can buy uh, you know, frames these days for a couple of pounds from the high street. They're not very expensive, but just having those flowers in frames will literally lift the way a wall looks, a conservatory maybe, a summer room if you've got something like that, or a kitchen. And isn't it a really lovely way to bring a really quick update yeah. to your home decor as well for each season because you can go in change things in your frames you know add in dimension add in detail as well just layering those leaves behind our daffodil and then i'd like to come in with a few more little shoots and things like that again i'm layering these ones with the everyday glue to notice whenever i add something to a card i've barely put any glue on there i'm using just as it as an anchor as a holding point for the design and that means when i go in 
I haven't got too much to wiggle around with, but also the rest of that beautiful artwork is then free, which means it's going to shimmer, it's going to move mm -hmm. on the front of your card as well. Perhaps we want to include those beautiful boundaries, those beautiful borders as well, just drawing in the design elements to the top and bottom. And if you're wondering what glue uh, Hannah's actually using, the, the white PVA glue, Oops. we've got that in the show as well today. It's called the Everyday Glue because one's enabled Monday, one's enabled Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday. So you've got seven bottles of glue. That's also available on our website now. But it's just little layers of these. It's just added little extras like this, which really begin building in the design details to your cards. Now for our watering crown, we did this uh, on the first demonstration in the first show as well. We just want to ground that. We don't want that sort of floating in midair. The snowdrops are a perfect way to do that. They have a little baseline. They have a little area into which everything then makes sense. It gives you perspective and it gives you a story into which we can add. As we add that in, you can see how all of these layers are mm -hmm. coming together to tell that detailing. One last little element, let's go in with the, the little pussy willows here. I think these are gorgeous. Again, snip into them, just as you would do in a florist setting as well. Have them layered, don't ever worry about layering up your designs because they're just gonna work so beautifully. We always say it with carnation, it's virtually impossible. I'd go as far as to say it is impossible to make a bad card when you've got carnation's artwork. Mm -hmm. And to meet Nick today, he's the first time I've actually met him. I've heard of him for a long time through Hannah and Carla, but uh, he's the man behind the artwork. He's the man uh, that gives you all of these fantastic vignettes to work with. Um, and you can tell he takes touch, such a pride in what he does. Absolutely, yeah, and that comes across oh, in the work, totally, doesn't yeah. it? There we are, just to finish the last little element there, just adding in the details to finish our little spring card. Hannah. It's been an absolute joy today. Thank you for all your demos Thank and you. for your company and everything. It's lovely because all of us have, have been over the years great friends and to be part of this, this new channel, Carnation Crafts TV with Hannah, with Carla, with Taz, our producer and our <laughs> technical operator director, whiz kid basically. Um, it, it's been fantastic. It's not over yet. We've got another 45 minutes to go. So we're going to take a short break at this point. Remember, you can order it now. And we did hear from head office earlier that all orders that have been placed in the 10 o'clock show this morning and in the one o'clock show this afternoon have already been packed and picked and sent. So if you'd like to get service like that, order this now. Uh, the details uh, will come back in a couple of seconds after we take a short break. Say goodbye to Hannah and hello to Carla right after this.
Welcome back. I hope it's come across just how much fun we've all had here today with the first day of Carnation Crafts TV. It's been an absolute blast. You've loved it as well from your messages, which is fantastic. Thank you for sending them in to us. Um, and also, of course, the small part of the collection. Now, this is the exciting thing. Carnation Crafts TV, we wanted it to be something special. Obviously, we're still going to be on the other channels that you're used to seeing us on. Nothing unusual and different there. But what we wanted to do is bring you collections that are ahead of everybody else. We wanted to reward your loyalty to us by giving you something special. So this collection is not available anywhere else for at least a fortnight, for two weeks, possibly even longer. Um, so you're going to get this now ahead of the game. You've already heard that all the orders placed this afternoon and this morning have already been dispatched, so you might even get them tomorrow in many instances. But this is spring and it's Easter. Now, obviously the clock's going to go forward in about, uh, well, short, not quite two weeks, just short of two weeks on uh, Mother's Day. And Easter's not far after that. So this is going to be with you very, very soon and you can get starting to make your Easter cards very quickly indeed. You've got all of these dies, all the vignettes, remember all the artwork on the website, carnationcrafts.co.uk, are free to print off right now. Also, those wonderful background papers that are there are also free to print off as well. And they complement, of course, the colors and the artwork too. But looking around here at some of the cards that the guys have put together, the design team, and this is the one that um, Hannah did in the last part of the show a few minutes ago. That's still drying very much at the moment. There's another one there as well. I mean, you've got the flowers. You've got the cuteness of the little characters with a little chick and also the bunny rabbit as well. You've got the happy Easter symbols there, the Easter eggs too. It's all in here at a reduced price. $109.99. It should be $141.93. So you're saving best part of uh, about 30 odd pounds off the price, about 31 pounds off. Free postage, big deal. Yeah, you don't pay any PMP if you're buying the main collection today. And that goes for any order if you're spending over 50 pounds with Carnation in the UK, okay? Always free PMP over 50 pounds. Otherwise, it's 2.95 for your order. And if you're watching us in the US, uh, you could order this today as well. Your postage will be 4.95. And if you're ordering another item, and say for example the perfect papers which is a little bit of weight to it uh, that will be 14.95 maximum for your postage so you can then of course uh, order with confidence and know that it will be with you as quickly as possible right so hannah's gone for the time being and look he's here hello Carl, Hiya. Love. you're Hiya. all right love we've had a great day haven't we i've had a bit of a nana nap good i had a change of clothes because we might have had a nap a nana nap's always a good thing okay it's a must gives you more energy. change my clothes might have been a couple of accidents <clears throat> <laughs> Don't ask questions. Don't ask questions. <laughs> but always, about this time of the day, I always need to have a new outfit. I'm like a child. And yeah, she is actually. Yeah, but usually a well behaved one, occasionally. No, though. Never. Never, never detention. I don't want to be a well behaved child. <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit warm, I'll be honest. I am now. It's a bit, it's a bit mafting, mm -hmm. but we're, we're doing well. And everyone's loving our new studio, which is fantastic. It's uh, beautiful. Isn't it stunning? Yeah. I, I, isn't it lovely to see it all come together? I mean, there's been so much hard work behind the scenes and to see it come together in such a lovely way. So we've got this really, and like you said, to have all friends together is yeah. a really lovely thing as well. And everyone's commenting on the quality of the images, the pictures it, and the lighting. And oh, they didn't mess about. No. I was talking to Nick about it this morning and I said, you know, it'd be really difficult to produce the, the vignettes that we produce, the dyes that we produce that are such high quality and then to come in with kind of a rubbish fee, <laughs> that just wouldn't have worked, no. would it? So they had to go the extra mile and boy did they, it is incredible, absolutely incredible. Okay, so now we've um, talked about the vignettes, let's just have a little look at them because this is, a vignette really is a posh word for artwork. Um, it's the artwork that matches the shape of the dies completely. I'm sure many of you know already that. But um, mm. for those of you that don't, you were printing these off earlier, weren't you, downstairs? I was, did you, <coughs> we had, I had a little argument with the printer. I, did I you heard, hear? yes. There was words. But you won. In the end, mm. I always do. So, as you can see here, we've got a vignette. This is a single-sided vignette. So this is just your four bunnies. And you would just pop your die on top of there, pop it through your machine, and that gives you your single-sided dies. Now, beautiful, beautiful artwork, right? Really stunning. However, this is printed on printer paper, just normal copier paper. Oh. Pro printing, I know, like, how good is that just on copier paper? But when we then go to pro printing paper, which I thought was a scam. What? I thought that looked all right. Mm -hmm. So my heart sunk a little bit when he said printer paper. But then I suppose we're going to see the difference, yeah? Oh, my word. Ooh. Look yes. at the difference in that. That's pro print paper. So when they, and I, you know, I've said this loads of times because they did say to me, use pro print. And I was like, they're scamming me. 
they're scamming <laughs> me and I don't want to. And then actually when I did, you can the difference is just the insane. definition, the colour yeah. box, the accuracy of, of the ink. It does it's to do with the the amount of colour that the papers absorb. So your copy of paper absorbs a lot of colour. So it's taking it away from the finished item. Yeah. Whereas um, your pro print it leaves it on the surface of the paper so you get that mad rush of colour that you see in this bunny here. And I think the only way you can explain that is to show them side by side because you don't realise it's so dull isn't it and flat on here and so vibrant on here but who'd have thought the paper would make so much difference I know right well I that's why I thought it was a scam most important thing, but it's not really no my, my print is a 50 quid jobby from the supermarket I'll be honest <laughs> uh, rude <laughs> rude boy right so what we have here like I say is this is a single sided vignette so you get four images and you just put your dye on put it through single sided vignette as you do Carnation has mirrored vignettes, which are the ones that I use all the time. So we did have a look at these this morning, but I wanted to show you the difference between a single sided and a mirrored, because I think we don't often get time to explain. That's what I love about having a channel. We can now explain things to you yeah. in, in a kind of a... a we're, not, we're not in such a rush all the time. Yeah, so. yeah, so it's just sort of getting that message through. So you can see here the difference between the single sided, you've got the four bunnies, and the mirrored vignette, you've still got four bunnies, but two of them are upside down and two are the correct way round and the mirrored vignette has a black line going through so this one we would just cut normally like I say put your eyes on top whack it through but with your mirrored vignette it is different this black line is your guide now everybody at Carnation will tell you and I'm supposed to show you that you're supposed to make a little cut line just to the edge of that black I don't I'm gonna be totally honest with you I just I just fold it but I'm supposed to be professional and show you what you're supposed to do <laughs> so let's pretend to do that so you're supposed to put a little cut line down each side and that helps you fold it. But honestly, like it's folding a piece of paper. We're, we're, it's not rocket science. You can manage it. I All can you're see doing, how it helps you get it in the right place. Oh, it totally does. I mean, yeah. they were, they, you know, they do tell me things that are important. Whether I choose to listen to them or not is a different matter. All I need to do is make sure my edges at the side are lined up and it's cut folded on that black line. We never ever fold just in the center of the page. I don't know how well you can see it, but there is a tiny overlap here. Yeah. Now, when I cut the die, if that overlap is, if I've just cut it straight in the center, uh, Alan is gonna be, you know, a bit lopsided on either side. He's not gonna be the correct way because he's gonna be higher on one side and lower on the other. And Alan doesn't like to be out of balance. He's, no. you know, he's quite particular about, you know, how he feels at the end of the day. So we've cut this here. You can see that straight on that line. And all we do is spray some spray mount on the inside, uh, sticky glue, whatever. Make sure you've got some ventilation when you do that because it is fumy and that's never any good. And then put that into a carrier bag or into a box and just spray inside of that just so it's not going everywhere. And you just push that down. And what I tend to do is print out all of my vignettes in one day, fold them all, spray them all, get it all done, job lot. Would it go horribly wrong if you didn't put the glue on it? No, actually what would happen if you put the glue on it, you're basically saving time. If you're somebody who likes single-sided vignettes, it saves you a bit of time. If you don't put the glue on it and you whack it through your machine, basically when you take it out, you can peel them apart and you would have cut two at once. Oh, but one okay. would be the back yeah. side of that, which is always a little bit flatter than the front side up to you what you do but it does save you some time but that's how I do mine that's how I've done it since I started so that gives you a front and a back and mm -hmm. a left and a right in, indirectly too yeah which is kind of double for your money isn't it with your uh, yeah. with your vignettes because you can have two images facing each other which is lovely and also if you were to buy two dies separately that's going to cost you the money because you've got to pay you know for both yeah, so sure. we don't do that we just do mirrored vignettes which is cheaper for you guys so that's your vignettes I, does that explain it it does and if you go to the website carnationcrafts.co.uk carnationcrafts.co.uk I know teeth. if you go to the website you'll see the vignettes and they're a single one so if you know that the back of the um, the actual image isn't going to be seen then don't print the double ones because you're wasting your ink but if you know that the back's going to be seen or you want the front and the back or you want the left and the right then you've got that there as an option but you choose what you print off so you're in control but that's at carnationcrafts.co.uk if you go to the download section then the free download section that's where you'll see all the artwork and the vignettes for this collection and previous collections are there absolutely free and don't forget also uh, background papers are on there for free as well they're such a generous company carnation aren't they i know totes right yeah so you get all of your, <laughs> all of your backing papers all of your insets they're all free you know you can do as you please but i think everything that they do and they do think of it with the customer in focus so that's why this was important as well we discussed this on the facebook live last night um and this is where carnation come into their own because i had said to them if we're if we had sold out of this you know in the first hour 
would we just then because we're supposed to have shows obviously at one o'clock today now and then two tomorrow would we just cancel those and mark and nick were like no no you just keep going and you demo yeah because the customer is as invested in the demos as they are in the product you know you've paid for the product it's nice to see it made um and so they want us to continue with that and i think that's a really beautiful ethos and i think we need that as a company it shows you exactly kind of who Carnation are, you know. Now, if you're watching us in the UK and it's coming up to six o'clock, we are live. Obviously, the benefit of this is that once we've done the programme, the programme doesn't disappear like normal programmes do. You can actually call it up and watch it back on YouTube or on Facebook or indeed at the Carnation website. So, um, yeah, it's basically like a, a little tutorial from Hannah and Carla, uh, a bit of, um, you know, info from me about products and stuff like that, but you can access it when it's right for you. So if you've got a coffee break at 11 o'clock tomorrow, you can watch this show back then if you want to. If you've got lunch break tomorrow at one o'clock and you want to watch it, then you can do. The next live show will be five o'clock tomorrow, uh, and that will be this again, but more demonstrations and new demonstrations. So even though the product is the same, how you use the product, lots of different inspiration. Carla. Taz was just smiling at me in a funny way. In a funny way? <laughs> she frightened me then. Oh. I'm just saying. <laughs> We're going to do a DL card. Okay. So uh, one of the things that I love doing the DLs, because I love the kind of structure of the shape visually, there's something very slender about it, very lovely to, to sort of see. So I do like working with DLs quite a lot. And obviously as well, it's simple to sort of cut and shape yourself. Uh, and once again, I do apologize for my fingers. There are lots of comments, <laughs> <laughs> lots of continued comments about it's not a fashion statement. Uh, unfortunately, I have um, poorly fingers. Your poorly fingers have fingers. got their own Facebook page. I know, right? but that's a different type of Facebook page, Dave, and we oh, don't talk about okay. it in public. I'm just gonna take that and push it here, and we fold this back, and then we shuffle these two together. Let me just, I've got a bit of chum here, look. It's usually a bit of cat hair, a bit of dog hair, something like that. So you can you see- got i got two cats. Oh. Not here. Oh, okay. I was gonna I say, mean, I've not seen them today. There's Davinia who goes in the garden. You saw Davinia. Oh, yes. I didn't call her Davinia, but I, I gave her her street name when I was talking to you. <laughs> Just so you know. Right, I'm going to pull this back. Uh, I, I also introduced you to Kevin Fat Pigeon. Yes, you did. You didn't see Marv because Marv's busy today. He's got What's some. Marv? Marv's a little mouse. Okay. But he's got bookings today. He couldn't be here with us. I'm using. The world we live in, everybody. The world we live in. It's a I'm special place. <laughs> Just be glad you're not in my head all the time. It's <laughs> it's quite quite the raucous party. Uh, you can see I'm using these perfect papers. Perfect papers are really important. When we talk about perfect papers, they're 300 GSM, and you get six colours, and you get eight of each colour, so you're getting 48 in your pack. The reason they're 300 GSM, and it is important, when we're doing mats and layers, if you're printing out mats and layers and you're using pro paper, I would always say to you to do your vignettes, especially if you're doing a mirrored vignette in 120 GSM, because you, once it's folded, it comes out as 240. When we're doing backing papers, you want that structure to it. So that's the same as we use. So we're using the heavier, when you see the backing papers here, I'm using a much higher GSM. So this is like your 220. So it kind of matches in with the structure and the, you know, the fibers of the perfect papers. It's just important for the balance of your card. Now, if you are having a bit of a spending spree and you want to go for pro paper, you want to go for maybe the perfect papers. And do bear in mind, this is not paper. This is actually uh, a 300 GSM cardstock, but all the colorways coordinate with the vignettes. That's a must add on to your order as far as I'm concerned. I think most people do these days. Yeah. They just, you know, because it's the perfect partner to each collection. And obviously you get enough to keep card making for a long time forward, which is really lovely. Uh, on these, now, I just want to explain, I did go into this a little bit earlier, but I, I do love my foam tape and there is good reason for it. Again, we're talking about the structure of that card and the dimension of that card. So you can see here, I've got five millimeter foam tape. So you've got this massive depth on there. You can mm -hmm. see that. When I take my next layer, that's a three mil. So hang on, if I get that the right way around, can you see the difference in depth there? You you've take got double sided foam to the next level. I do, yeah. Well, because it's structure, isn't it? Yeah. And I think it's what gives you the shadow play. Shadow play is important. To be honest, you can't buy a shadow. That's the point. You can't buy a shadow. You have to make them. And if you don't make them, it doesn't make any difference. But when you do make them, the difference is huge. Mm. That's the point. And so I love to play with shadow and structure with my cards. And it's what makes it unique to you. You know, you when you start choosing your balance and your heights, then you're really making these your own. 
if we do the shot from, can we do it overhead, Taz? If we do that, can I just show the shadow here? Directing from the floor. Sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> don't use, don't you use words to me, Miss Tasman. So you can see here, we've got this really beautiful shadow play. It's important and there's, you know, it's one of those things that you don't notice it's there until you've actually started playing with shadow and then you'll suddenly realize the value to it. So we're going in with one of these free backing papers. Use your free backing papers, they're important. See, without the likes of Carla and Hannah, we wouldn't necessarily know to do this and it's all kind of trial and error. When you see it demonstrated, you think, I'm gonna have a go at that. Yeah, absolutely. Hannah actually likes working on lower foam tape than I do. So that, that's the difference. It's just the way you shape things, isn't it? And, and we're different demonstrators. We have a different crafting style. That's why it works so well because we are you know we kind of balance each other out but ha I love chunky cut I love that big chunky feel I love white on white it to me it's that flare it's that uh, sort of extra push and that extra umph I'm taking this beautiful banner here I love this so much I love the lace work on it it's so pretty and so delicate and sometimes especially when we're using that big chunky foam tape to bring that down with that very delicate lace is really really pretty there's something again about balance I've got some finger lift tape on here but I can't finger lift it because my ridiculous fingers get stuck to it so we're using uh, the uh, what did I use? A pokey tool. Mm. I used a pokey. And I'm just, it's slightly longer, so I'm just going to make sure I've got an even length at each side, and I'll take it in to here. And that, that, that strip is so snippable as well, isn't it, if you don't want to use the whole thing? Oh, absolutely. And, and that, it's that, isn't it? It's all the things that we can change, we can mould, we can play with. I, it just, it pleases me. It pleases me. It doesn't take a lot to please me, to be honest. <clears throat> Your average pack of Monster Munch can please me for a week. <laughs> and then we're going in with some, just some wet glue, some PVA. I'm not shaping this. I don't want any dimension on this. This is just a flat piece. Now these, these pieces that are flat, these are the ones where you only need to print a single-sided vignette. I haven't, I've printed double because I do all of mine as doubles. But these are the things, so when you're thinking out your thought process, those things that are gonna be a background, they're just there for the aesthetic. These are the ones where you're just sort of, uh, you can have that white edge on the back, you don't need to use your ink for it. I'm gonna take this in and I'm gonna put it at a crooked angle, which will then be covered by the florals, but I just want that flare, that curve, as it comes around the card, and I'm just gonna lay that flat. Really pretty. It's now, a beautiful shape, isn't it? Isn't it? I love that curvature yeah. on it. And and I think because you've got that, when we leave some of these fronds free and they, they lift, so you can see that this one's fairly flat and this one's got a raise to it. Now you can you can exaggerate that by just pulling those certain shapes forward. And if you didn't use the artwork, if you just had it as plain cardstock and then maybe coloured it red, it could be almost like um, you know, the rising of the phoenix or something like that, couldn't it? <gasps> You're so dramatic today, know. Mr. Dave Bradford. Oh, yeah. Good you know Lord. Me. Drama all the way. Drama, drama. I'm going to go in with this beautiful little vine. I don't think it's a wine vine. Oh. Could it be? No, they have, they have grapes, dude. They do. Yeah, it's not one of them. Well spotted. Nick, <laughs> for your next collection. I'm just gonna place this over the top of that and that's just to secure everything because we're gonna hide it. But I'm just adding that tiny little panel of detail there. It's so pretty, right? Mm -hmm. Look at that delicacy with the lace. Isn't that just so lovely? And then we're gonna go with the florals and now we get to play. This is where I start to have fun. So ball tools, take your ball tools, work out your sizes. If you've got the carnation ball tools, you'll realize you've got eight different sizes of ball tools. Oh, I didn't realize there were so many. Yeah, yeah, so it's, you get the four ball tools themselves. Uh, you can also get the foam mat, which has got really lovely depth to it, really beautiful density to it. But you can use all four to choose your sizes. If you're doing the very tiny flowers, so for instance, if I was shaping out these little buds, I would just be using my very tiny one. When I'm using the bigger ones, you can't use the tiny one because it's gonna make an indent on it. So you change, you're always changing up your tools to match what you're you're doing for these I'm not going to do all of them because you'll be here forever but because I've got the petal this size I'm not just going to ball out the whole of that because I'm I'm observing the fact that there are different numbers of petals here and I'm going to kind of as such respect each petal individually so I'm going to go in and the die kind of embosses a, a line doesn't it yes which helps you shape it you've got that cut line yeah. so you can really really go to town on it that daffodil that's in the collection which is just epic that 
you can actually cut into every single petal and bring every single petal into a teacup shape and it really comes to life. We'll yeah. have a look at that I've maybe tomorrow. I've noticed some of the cards that the design team have done, the daffodil really pops and I'll show you some of those in a minute. And you can always, it's funny, you know, because we always sort of have a little chuckle about this. You always know when the DT love a collection because yeah. we get so many cards yeah. from that collection. And this was no exception, was it? There's tons of them. Also, huge thank you to the DT for like putting chocolates in. Like, oh, of course, yes, they did. They won't last. Um, but, but there's only know, a couple thanks. left. <laughs> <laughs> you know, ever grateful. Yeah, we've got little Easter bonnets or baskets here as well, decorated with the characters too, with some little chockies inside. So when we've shaped out, can you see the kind of 3D impact that we get there? And you can see how that raises and lifts. You get that beautiful bowl edge to it. What we do then is just pull them forward slightly so they're not sitting too sort of flat to anything. When you do your die cuts, they're so delicate. Can you, I don't know if you can see or not, but right next to this flower where my pokey is, there's still a little bit from my die left in. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna poke it out. Just look for your little details because it does matter when you put your cards together. And then I'm gonna use some pin flare. Let's gel glue. Right, this is something I never get to do very often on television because it's a real waste, but I'm gonna show you it. Pin flare dries solid. Now, if you're using pin flare, you've got to give it time to dry, which is 24 hours minimum, really. But it's worth it. It's so worth it. Now, I want to raise these up. I would never, ever put this much on on a lower flower, but I just want to show you the difference. I can put this much on, and when I put this much on, it's about level with my flower here. Right. So that's just going to sit where I've domed it, and that's fine. However, what I can do is go Whoa. up and up and I can build a little castle there. You now sure? I wouldn't go that high, but I just want to exemplify to you, if I don't squash that, if I just leave that, tomorrow that will still sit that high. That's what gel glue does and that's why it's important because of that dimension. I wouldn't leave it that high, obviously, but that's the difference. This is what we're doing. We're sculpting with the glue now. This is where we bring more techniques And in. also, if you're putting your card in the post, because that dries absolutely solid, it's less likely to get damaged if it yep. gets crushed or anything like that. So absolutely. it really is incredible stuff, that glue job. I mean, we use it for all sorts, right? Yeah, we do. <laughs> it repaired my wine rack. Yeah, my glasses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've done Someone's all sorts of Someone's number plate is held on their yeah. car with it. Yeah, there's loads of us that have, have used it in the most obscure ways. Now, when I lay that, it's very difficult to show you it sort of per se, but if I raise it slightly, can you see that gel glue now? Yeah. It hasn't actually squashed at all. I can squash it, uh, and it will all splurge out at the bottom of my card, and so I don't want to do that too much, but I can just touch onto it so I know it's there. Now see how that domes over so it hides the gel glue. That's why we use the ball tool. Sculpt those flowers, bring that dimension to it, and then you can see the shadow that sits just beneath those the flowers. The difference it makes, it really is superb. So yeah, the, the key really get the ball tools there on the website, sculpt the petals, and then use your blue gel and you're sorted. It's just so pretty, right? And I think you know, we can make cards and, and we can we can get tons of cards made in a day. That's really lovely. And But when we're taking the time to sit and really make an artwork out of a card, which is what we're doing when we're doing this and we're sculpting and we're piecing, there's so much pride in that. You know, you, you, you look at the end result and you're like, I totally made that. I did that. I did that, Dave. I did that. I know you did. <laughs> I did it. You can't take that away from me. I did. I wouldn't dream of. <laughs> you can. Uh, and so we've got these sitting here. If I was the sort of person that could ever make it to a post box, I might make it to a post box one day. We might do a thing where we give some cards away and I'll put them in a post box. But I'm quite lazy, so I've got to tell you, like, I don't know when that'll happen. Well, I'll tell you what, we're, we are introducing the makers, uh, the monthly makers. So if you want to make a card and send it in to us, details of that will be in your packaging, obviously, when you get your order. Um, we can display your cards in the studio here on the shelving and we could give a prize away once a month. So that's something that we're going to be thinking of doing. So I know you're buying the dies to make cards, maybe to sell or to give to friends and relatives, but why not send one card back to us and they might win you a prize? Do we know what prize it is yet? No, that's with Nick. <laughs> <laughs> he is going to shout. TBC. I might make up the prize. OK. You could have something out of my snack drawer of dreams. And your snack drawer of dreams is pretty immense. It's a snack drawer of dreams. Of dreams. I mean, your, what you gave us to eat today was just paradise. I totally looked at you today. You what did I make you for your lunch? Fish finger sandwich. Fish finger sandwich. What's it? What's it? <laughs> <laughs> Not in the same sandwich, but. 
bit of coleslaw, bit yeah, of salad. Very nice. Took care of you. You know how to treat. Made you a brew. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. Look, there is Carla's first card. Uh, another demo to come before we say Jurio in about 15, 20 minutes time. But there, that's the free shoes, isn't it? I don't know the names. Yeah, that's the free yes. I'm sure it is. Yes, it is. Uh, now, it's all part of the big collection, of course, which is our Spring Forward collection, which we launched earlier. Well, we actually launched it around about this time yesterday on the website. It went live on the website. Uh, but our first live show from Carnation Crafts TV in our new All Singing All Dancing studio went live this morning at 10 a.m. And all I can say on behalf of Carla, Hannah, Nick, Mark at Carnation, Tasmin, our director and producer, from everyone involved, thank you so much for such an incredible reaction. Everybody's been so lovely and so complimentary. Let me show you though what this is all about. I fell in love with the Carnation Crafts, the very first show that I did with them, which is a, a good number of years ago now. Uh, and that's why I think they realized how much I love the collection and how much I love the range. And that's why they gave me a ring and said, would you like to be involved? And I was absolutely flattered and I'm chuffed to be part of it. So Janine Dawson, you have done the most incredible work with this. Now, this is not just one single layer of card. This is about three or four layers which gives you the look and feel of almost like a, a chipboard effect but this is the beautiful um the beautiful wreath the is it the beaded wreath are we calling it banded wreath beg your pardon not beaded banded banded, the banded wreath um you're gonna get two the smaller one and the larger one as well um, and that works so well with this collection there it is look banded wreath 24.99 Double two oh three double two your item number and that's proved very very popular today as well but that's uh, a really lovely standalone card now, let's show you a few more. Let's go down a little bit further. Let's delve a bit lower so we can see something that we've not seen so far. Um, have a little look at this one. Again, cut the egg with a pair of scissors, crack it so it's open, just newly born, really sweet. Uh, and maybe it's got a brother or a sister to come as well. Who knows in that one? Like uh, Gloria. Could be. Mm -hmm. Could be. Um, then you've got your little bunny rabbit. Remember, cut him twice if you want to and uh, get the uh, double-sided vignettes and you've got a, a he and a she or a brother and sister looking at each other. Um, this is one of the ones that really blew me away with that. You talked about the dimension on the daffodil. Look at this. There's one, two, three. There's about four layers on some of those petals. If I turn it sideways, can you see just how high? Isn't that stunning? It is lovely. And do you know what? The dew drops. I love those. I know. Isn't that just a lovely touch? Yeah. It's got that sort of early morning feel to it. You fill me with joy, Mr. Dave Bradford. Oh, you too, my love. You too. Yeah. Here we are. Happy Easter. Uh, you asked about the, um, someone asked about the Easter eggs, whether they are on, on the vignettes, and the answer is yes, they are. There we go. Look. And you can trim those and cut those away if you want to. You can. You can. So there's so many fantastic cards here. If you want to go a little bit more religious, you've got the cross there, of course, as well. Uh, again, that's been using the uh, the banded wreath as well. So that's virtually kind of camouflaged the banded wreath with the smaller one in the centre there. And the cross fits beautifully on top of that. That one was done by Barbara Treadwell. So it's always nice to give the uh, design team a bit of a... Yeah, and a massive shout out to the yeah. design team. I still stand by the fact that I think that Carnation has got the best design team out there. So huge, huge thank you to them and the best warehouse staff. They've already shipped your orders from this morning. Yeah, so that's amazing, massive actually. Massive shout out to them as well. Packed, picked and shipped. All the orders that were placed uh, from the 10 o'clock show and the 1 o'clock show this afternoon, all on their way today. This show, probably tomorrow, will be on their way. Uh, but I just want to show you this one as well. This is that fantastic watering can again, um, made into a card blank. See, it's a lovely topper, but it's an all singing or dancing card blank in its own right, which is great. Love really it. pretty, Love it isn't bits. it? Yeah. And that's a really lovely way to show using watercolour at the back as well. So instead of using your average cardstock and that on the front of that, because when we turn it round, it's got a colour, it's a cream colour. It, it sort of on the front where the little white bits would show normally and they might be garish white you get that beautiful cream sentiment there so it's nice to play with colors of paper too absolutely and don't forget we've also got on the show um your glue for every day i do love the fact they labeled it monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday seven pots of glue that's available uh also don't forget your perfect papers you will be so over the moon um, when you're putting a card together and you're matting and layering and that sort of thing if you haven't got the correct colour car, card or the correct shade of colour, you can end up kind of ruining the card because colours clash and they can easily clash. With this, these have been hand selected uh, to work with all of the artwork. If I just look at a glance, um, let me just grab one of these. I'll just grab this card. Look, no matter what element you look on that card, you'll find the colours complement. Whether it's the yellow, whether it's the grey or the green of the, uh, of the vines and that sort of thing. 
So yeah, get the uh, get the actual perfect papers, although they are cardstock, 300 GSM cardstock, 48 sheets. Pop that into your order as well. You will not regret it, and that very often sells out. So usually, Dave. Usually does. Usually, am I demoing? Yeah. Are you very demanding I today, know. Mr. Dave? I've cut, I'm doing a dinky. I love doing dinky cards because they make me happy. So I'm making a little dinky. I think this is six by six. Could be five by five. I can't remember. It was a couple of days ago when I cut them. I bet but it's five by five. I put money on it. Have you got a ruler? I don't trust you because you're a man. <sighs> I'm just saying. Hurt. <laughs> I mean, I think it's universally acknowledged. <laughs> just saying. We've made our temp base same way that we always make our temp bases really super simple to do but it means we're structured in that way now I go on about how much I love depth and dimension and how much I love my backing papers but sometimes we don't need them sometimes I don't want to play with backing papers and I'm not going to this time and I don't want any mats or layers either now mats and layers we always say are important to you because they draw the eye in and that is very very true but sometimes actually that naked space is a really beautiful thing just on its own when we're doing something like this, it is important to use a super smooth cardstock because everything that is left of the white that's visually there is going to literally be visually there. So make sure you're using a good cardstock to do that if I'm you're just you're using white. I'm glad you a small card because sometimes people get intimidated <coughs> by bigger areas. It's a bit like when they see 12 by 12 papers, it's yeah. like, oh, I don't know what to do with that. Absolutely. And I think in the US uh, specifically as well, I don't think they make cards quite as big as we do in the UK. We love our 8 by 8s, but I think in the US they do much, I think it's to do with postage, they do much smaller cards. And I think actually, visually, they're so sweet, they're so lovely, um, that there's no reason to not experiment and play with those. So what we're gonna do here is bring Alan and Norma out. Just a so, bit of a heads up, if you are watching us in America, great to know you're there, no matter where across America yeah. you are, you can order as well. Remember, it's 4.95 uh, for postage. Uh, if you're um, buying a little bit more than that, say for example, if you're putting the perfect papers into your order, it'll be 14.95 postage, that's the maximum you'll pay. So you can enjoy carnation crafts across the pond too. So what I'm gonna do with these snowdrops, the first thing I'm gonna do is corner out my card. Now I've got this big blank white space or this small blank white space. If I just leave that as it is, I don't have any way visually to draw the eye towards the center. And the way we do that is to use techniques such as corner panels, grounding devices. So you can already see, I've just taken away a large portion of that white space. So you know when we talk about canvases and painting, that white space is the intimidation route. When you put through, something that corners that off, already you're on the way. So you don't need to get panicky. I don't know how to make cards. Well, actually you do make a corner. So that's all you've got to start with. Then we can play and go on from there. So that's absolutely just one of those amazing techniques that I learned very early on because I was very intimidated. I've only been making cards for two years. And Is that what you've been yeah. That's what I didn't mm -hmm. know that. So the first card I ever made was for Carnation. Ironically. Oh, so what craft were you before? So I'm a quiller, I'm a sculptor, oh, I'm a general that. kind of artist. Um, I work with clay, I work with wood, I work with all kinds of different mediums. Um, but I'd never made a card and Carnation said, I think I've told this story many times, but Carnation said, do you want to come on board? And I said, no thanks. That worked well, didn't it? Because like, here I am. But I said <laughs> no and they were like, do you want to tell us why? And I said, because you're very professional and I'm going to ruin your company. And they said, look, it's fine. <laughs> and I said, also, I don't know how to make cards. So they said to us, well, we'll send you some dies. And I said, I have a die cutting machine. I don't know how to use one. So they sent me one of those. <laughs> I think by this point, they were thinking, oh, Lord. And, um, and there it went from there, basically. And I've been with them ever since. And no regrets. Best company ever. But also, new craft, new art form to learn. And the techniques that I've learned through sculpting, all of those things I bring into the cards that I make. That's the bit I love. Do you know what I've noticed as, as being a presenter that's presented Carnation Craft you know, shows for a long mm. time, is the passion that everybody has got for the range. Uh, you know, people don't just buy one collection and that's it, move on. They come back and buy more and more and more because they love everything that the company stands for. They love all the quality, they love all the quirkiness about the characters, but above all, they love the luxury and the quality. Yeah, I think that's it, isn't it? And I think. Because until you've actually had some carnation dies and you've printed those carnation vignettes and you know you've joined in, there's a, it's important to tell you as well that there is a Facebook group called Carnation Crafters and you should definitely join that because the inspiration in there is insane. Also, 
massive, massive big up to the Carnation Army who are in that uh, Carnation Crafters group. You guys just awesome belting belting group of people i love them and um, your comments today again we've been watching them in between shows absolutely incredible so thank you for your oh, support i'm so glad cool. to know you like it that's the main thing so um i think you know doing it doing it for you guys i think is is just a really lovely thing but it's important things like tomorrow we're going to go um we're choosing our times this is great isn't it we can choose our times we can schedule when we want to come live so tomorrow we'll go live at five o'clock um and is it five o'clock Taz? Five o'clock tomorrow, five. Five o'clock tomorrow seven. and seven o'clock tomorrow and we'll do an hour for each one so that the US has more chance of seeing it and that's a really lovely thing to have uh, just because we can bring that to you you know uh, and you get to see that but unfortunately Miss Wheeler is poorly so it will actually <laughs> I'm sorry guys yeah. it's going to be me presenting <laughs> and demoing sorry. you'll be great like just me you'll be fine with Taz shouting and at me Dawn, in the corner. Yeah, and Dawn will be with you, I'm sure, very, very soon. Dawn will be with, Doris will be with me in spirits. All good. It's Dawn all good. and I are presenting. Um, I'm somewhere else tomorrow, so I can't be here. Yeah, rude. Sorry. Rude, Dave Bradley. I'll be otherwise. Let me take down my sign that says I love you. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm like a fair weather friend. <laughs> I only love you when you do the things I need. Right, let's just get Norma's wings all shaped out so you see how we're using this smaller ball tool here and I'm shaping so when I change I change sides for this if I really wanted to go in what I could do is take the very tiny ball tool that we get in this kit can you see the tiny tiny it's so small and I can go in to those little eye shapes and just ball them out Salmo261 on YouTube says look forward to watching more nice to see David's join too oh, thank so we love Davy B. I love being here. I've had such a blast today. Such a We've had time. so much fun. We have. Been a little bit naughty. Well, you may have been. Well, everyone else seemed quite well behaved, but you know. <laughs> so Norma and Alan are finally together. It's like the best story now, hang on. film. Alan's the rabbit. Dude, don't offend them by saying you don't know their names. Norma's they the chick. can hear you. Norma's the chick, Alan is the rabbit. God. You think it's been a long day? Are we kind of getting a bit demo puffy now? I mean, I don't think anything changes for me from morning to night. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just going to add a little bit of moss over Norma. And there she is. She's very pretty. And then all I'm going to do now is I've got one of these pink flowers, which they tell me is a freesia, and I'm going to take their word for it because sometimes they have been right in the past. And I'm just going to add a tiny, tiny wee bit of pin flare to it. And I've got too much white space at this side. The balance isn't correct. We've got more happening over here other than Alan's lugs, which, you know, are very prominent, but they're pointing in this direction. So let's visually follow that path and place that freesia just in the center, just to finish off that corner panel there. We've got that beautiful sweep that goes around the card, but if Alan doesn't have his bow, he gets very upset. So let's just make sure. He's gonna have a 3D dicky bow. He is, I mean, he's so handsome with it. I think next time Nick should make Alan a cravat. That would be a good look. We'd like, we, I'd like Alan in a cravat. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna place just tiny amounts of pin flare. Can you see the dimension on that slightly? Am I too high here? So you get this beautiful tiny amount of dimension. I've balled it out <coughs> so that it sits pr proud there and you've got that dome. And then when I turn that, I have got so much dimension on this bow. And he's so proud of himself. Look at Alan, he's so proud. I'm just gonna use my pokey just to make sure it sticks. Look at Alan and Norma, they're so happy. Something tells me we're gonna have some fun in this studio. There was talk earlier on, of, you know the mice? The carnation mice Ooh. possibly having a zip wire with a mouse coming down from there down to Taz, <laughs> our producer in the corner, and that could be like our little communication mouse. He could bring messages. To I want, I want to have like a little wheelie type thing where I can make him whiz yeah. and then bring him back. I think that'll be a thing. I really do. do. Think? I think I really do think so. Now, um, let me show you again some of the things that you can make with these fantastic dies. I mean, you know, not just cards and not just wonderful pictures for the home, home decor, but also little Easter egg bonnets and little Easter egg um, baskets here, decorated with the beautiful daffodil, that cheeky little chick as well. Um, I just love these. And we're gonna go through the balls to show you, to show you all the dies that you can still order. Remember, um, this is a brilliant price. It's not available anywhere else at the moment, only through us on Carnation Crafts TV, because it's our launch day, it is our debut. And it will be the first of many shows that you can look forward to here on 
Kyrish Cast TV. I um, mean, it's something that um, they've been working on for a little while. And it's something that just means that we're in control of what we bring you. Um, and, you know, we've just got more freedom. And you have said to us that you like it because the demos, they're more uh, intricate, they're more detailed, there's not so much rushing, mm. all that sort of thing. So if you want this today, no one else has got this for at least two weeks. $109.99. You can also split the payments if you want to with ClearPay or with PayPal Pay in 3, which I know lots of you like to use, uh, and free PMP as well with our UK audience. If you spend over £50 with Carnation, you don't pay any postage whatsoever, which is a real. Back of the net. We like that, we do. dude. Yeah, we like that. Are we doing the boards? Yes, please. Very giggly, Miss Tabs. So we're going to go in with Spring in Bloom, and we've got this beautiful, beautiful daffodil. Now I'm just going to use my pokey just to show you the layers. So these decoupage pieces that you see, these elements here, you can just see as I raise that, you can see those decoupage elements coming through on the board. So you can see how that all pans out. So you've got more here. You can see the layers underneath, and again, more here more here so they all raise together now with this daffodil i was just saying nick puts in little pips so there's little cut lines here you can actually just snip into those all the way around that flower and you can cut that daffodil it looks so pretty when you do it cut that daffodil round the second of the spring uh, blooms so this is the big pack of dyes there is your beautiful corner element <coughs> drop that we just looked at super important super super important they're not done just by happen chance you know we have to have those corners those grounding elements all of those things when we're making cards again all your little decoupage i gotta say i use these in one of the demos that hopefully you'll see tomorrow just as kind of a flurry of petals coming down and it looks so pretty it's so so sweet again all your mats and layers are there as well so you can make cards out of each individual piece as well so many people have commented on just how much they love the bluebells as well <laughs> I'm so glad you said that because I couldn't remember the name of it <laughs> that's your bluebells this curve that sweep that is so pretty isn't it just and if you do the um, the double sided I think you can then marry them together have the back and the front together to make a heart I'm pretty sure that would yeah, make a heart absolutely it would make a heart yeah. and the other side to it as well is remember with the bluebells if you try and put this on the edge of a card and you shape it so that this stem comes straight so it's not in the middle it will sort of tip and kilter so it's always good to have that in the middle if it's let's say it was a DL always good to keep your stem in the center of your DL and that will give you that perfect because in actual fact that shape isn't it doesn't stop there it's rounded off by the leaves so we've got that teardrop can you see the teardrop mm -hmm. shape that comes through and that's what we're using that's what we're utilizing really important again always thought through the and I love that. the freeze is not a freezing cow it is not a freezing cow again you've got all of your decoupage elements here that come in and they can all be added and shaped out so you've got all your little pieces here again remember they can be used as individual elements so we can make cards and add those tiny pieces in so you just saw me use that just as a corner piece you don't need to use the full florals and that's again another part of the joy of carnation is you get so much for your money because we've got all of those extra elements i love this i just I'm always a big fan of these background textures because they're so important and the visual impact on them is so pretty. That lace going through, your beautiful uh, leaves going down, your foliage, all of these elements that bring in your grounding devices, your backgrounds. I think you'll surprise yourself just how many times you use that and how, how much you'll come back to it time and time again. This one you'll use a, a gazillion times and this one you'll use yep. a gazillion times. And remember, we can cut into this so you could just use individual leaves if you wanted to as well. It's just those multi-use because they're not just used. For me, I would never, if, I was at, if I'm at home and I'm making cards, I never just take out one collection and make cards out of that. I do for demos, obviously, because they get a little bit, you know, freaked out when I start using something in a, in a different collection. But when I'm at home, I merge all of my collections because that's the joy of Carnation. We can do that and that's exactly what you can be doing and remember that could be a tankard. It could be a coffee pot if you just snip the, uh, the spout off the top there. And of course, it's a watering can too. That would be like a sippy cup for me with the extra bit that would keep me from having to change my clothes during the day. I've got something like that that I'm, I'm surgically attached to. I'm, I'm never without it. You are always with a sippy cup. I'm always with my you know, Tommy tippy cup. It, he, it, and he's not lying. And then you get this extra label on the top, which is really pretty. So we could stamp on that and do sentiments as well. You get this extra panel, which we can weave flowers into. So pretty, pretty, pretty. Happy this, Easter. I love this. I love the colorway on that. It's something really, really sweet about it. Uh, it's got all your Easter eggs, which can be cut separately. So you can cut the word away if you want to. 
The cross, I will say, I still stand by it. The cross is super, super important in this collection. Not only can it be used for other things, but I think it's really, really important to recognize the importance of sometimes bringing those religious elements in for Easter cards. Because yes, you know, there's a diverse range of people who make cards, so they're important, but it can be used across other, like, you know, um, even wedding cards, christening yeah, cards, or, you know, send, uh, what's the other one? Christening, confirmation. My brain went funny. Now we have got the little hatchling. So this is Norma, who's just made her way out of the egg. Norma is on the hoof. Don't, don't chase her, she will not be found. You've got all your extra elements here, so you can create a card just from this. So this red, every time you see red and white, the different layers. So this is where you would make your base card, this is where you'd put your mats and layers, and this is the egg. So you use this inside one to cut the egg. The extras are there for you to make cards from. Then we've got Norma's shadow uh, that sits behind us, so that's your mat for Norma. Then we've got Norma herself, so you've got all of those elements that come through. So when that's we show it here... my all-time favourite card of the day. That, to me, is just <laughs> genius. Lovely. Having a little feet coming out the bottom <laughs> of the egg, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So again, Alan, the same thing. So Alan has got his beautiful mat there. Now what we can do is cut Alan's mat twice and we can just score from his ear to his nose where my pokey tool is there. If you score there and you put red liner tape across his head to his ear and then a little bit more on his ear here and cut that twice, you've got a card base already. You can then stick Alan's actual vignette on there with some florals coming out from behind him, super pretty. And you could possibly even put Norma on the front of Alan that as well so lovely to have the tree stamps always important so grounding devices isn't it it's the same as that banner those are the things that create the final impact on all of our cards so we can use them all but I like the fact we've got steppers and shapes because sometimes you know that would be too big or sometimes that would be too small we get to choose but you can build this scene of them going down perfectly beautiful but the detail in it is just crazy 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 day still more we're still going I can't say it. Spring strings. Did I say it right? Yep. So you've got that beautiful daisy element going across. I know they keep saying it's a different name. It's not. It's a daisy. I'm, it's a daisy. Then you've got your vine and then you've got your beautiful twisted rope with that gorgeous, gorgeous bow on here. Cut that twice and then cut this away and decoupage your bow. Super pretty and a really lovely background for it. Do you want me to give a mention separately to this, Taz? Why She's not? Got a, Let's do the She gave as well. me a thumbs up. We're Which is better time, than what she was giving me earlier. But the banded wreath, if you want it, you get both dyes. And remember, the actual um, fantastic vignettes, the artwork for that is also on the website Yeah, too. absolutely. And it does look beautiful cut in white as well. We have had a blast today, everybody. Thank you ever so much to the team. Thank you to Taz, our producer, director, and all round good egg. Uh, to Mark and Nick, the, uh, the bosses at Carnation. To all the design team who've done all these fantastic cards for us. Uh, to Carla. To Hannah, of course, as well. Most importantly to you, though, for watching and for all the lovely messages that you've sent us. It's been an absolute honour and privilege to do and this to today. to you, Davy B. Oh, thank you for I put you an I love Davy B sign <laughs> on the wall. Look, I, that, I, I, I meant it. I love Davy oh, B. Love you too. Love you all very much. Um, now, I'm going to be back soon. Uh, Dawn's going to be here as well fairly soon too, but you're back tomorrow at five and seven. I am. Well, it'll, you'll be with Taz. So. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, the, the dynamic duo tomorrow between five or at five and at seven for two more shows featuring this, the brand new collection from, of course, Carnation Crafts. Have a lovely rest of the day and I'll see you again soon.